video, we're going to talk about how to use substitution to check the solution of a linear equation. So let's start from its definition. For one variable linear equation, its standard form is ax equals b, where a, b are real numbers, and a cannot be zero. It has the form of a solution x equals c, where c is a real number. For two variable linear equation, a standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, c are real numbers, and a cannot be zero as well. So it's going to have a form of solution x, y, which is an ordered pair. So now let's see some examples how to use substitution to check the solution of a linear equation. Let's turn to the next page. Let's start from one variable linear equation, ax equals b. So all we need to do, just plug x equals to c into this equation and check whether it is true or false. If it is a true statement, then the answer will be yes, it is a solution. If it is a false statement, then the answer will be no, it's not a solution. So let's try this example, negative 2x equals 5. Let's start from the first one, x equals 2. So let's plug in, the left hand side equals negative 2 times 2 equals 5. So the left hand side would be negative 4, the right hand side is 5. Apparently it's a false statement. Since it is false, so the answer will be no x equals 2 is not a solution of this equation. Let's check the second one, x equals 5 over 2. Let's plug in again. Left hand side would be negative 2 times 5 over 2 equals 5. So what shall we do with integer and a fraction? Usually, for such kind of product, we can convert integer to be a fraction. So negative 2 can be written as negative 2 over 1. So we can rewrite the left hand side to be negative 2 over 1 times 5 over 2. So now we can reduce by dividing 2 for both top and bottom, which will give us negative 5 over 1. That is negative 5, but the right hand side is 5. Apparently, it is a false statement, so the answer will be no. And finally, let's check the last one. x equals negative 5 over 2. Let's plug back again. Left hand side is negative 2 times negative 5 over 2 equals 5. So for negative 2, we can rewrite it as negative 2 over 1 times negative 5 over 2. And again, we can reduce by dividing 2 for both top and bottom, which will give us negative 1 times negative 5, that is 5, over 1, that is 5, equals 5 from the right-hand side. So this is a true statement. This implies it is a solution of this equation. So finally, we find the correct answer to this equation. So now let's try something else. Let's turn to the next page. Let's talk about a two variable linear equation, ax plus by equals c. So all we need to do, just by plugging x, y into this equation and then check. Let's try this example, 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. Let's start from the first one, 3, 0. Recall that for an ordered pair, the first number will be its x coordinate. The second number will be its y coordinate. So this implies x equals 3, y equals 0. So now let's plug in. The left hand side would be 2 times 3 plus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. However, after calculation, we're going to have 6 plus 0 equals negative 6. It is false. This implies 
3, 0 is not a solution of this linear equation. Let's try the second one. 0, negative 2. Again, it implies x equals 0, y equals negative 2. So let's plug in. Left hand side would be 2 times 0 plus 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6. So left hand side is 0 minus 6 equals negative 6. True. So this implies, yes, this one, 0, negative 2, is a solution of this equation. And finally, let's check the last one. Negative 6, 2. Again, it implies x equals negative 6, y equals 2. So let's plug in. 2 times negative 6 plus 3 times 2 equals negative 6. So negative 12 plus 6 equals negative 6. True again. It implies the last one, negative 6, 2, is a solution of this equation. So finally, we find two equations to this linear equation by substitution.